Kat McDonald of Peach Garden Games is likely best known in the indie space as the developer of the Carta System Reference Document, a solo RPG rule set wherein players lay out a deck of cards like a grid, moving from space to space and unveiling prompts. That's understating McDonald's expansive body of work, but possibly their most significant accomplishment in the community has far more to do with organizing than developing. Since 2021, McDonald has put together the Solo But Not Alone bundle on Itch.io, a collection of solo tabletop games, with proceeds going to the Jasper's Game Day Suicide Prevention Charity. This year's bundle features nearly 150 games, all for the price of $10. US It's a $1,500 value. It's a wonderful cause, and to encourage folks to donate as the bundle reaches its conclusion at the end of March, I want to highlight some standouts from its stunning variety. OK Cryptid by Tadig Lions is a tarot-based game in which you play someone who has encountered a legendary creature, fallen head over heels for them, and are trying to figure out the best way to tell them how you feel. Each tarot suit represents a different aspect of the creature's interests, with higher valued cards being more useful in romancing them. Depending on a success or failure of various skill checks, the cryptid will creep closer on a kiss me or kill me track, determining how badly the creature wants to find you, and the tenor that interaction will take. It's a charming, flirty text that's perfect for all you monster fuckers out there. Unnavigatable by Caden Ramstack is a wretched and alone game about trying to preserve your old Zenga blog as the platform crumbles into obsolescence. In standard wretched and alone format, your players answer prompts as they pull blocks from a Jenga tower, which represents the time left until your blog is lost forever. The charm of this game is undoubtedly in its tone and presentation, embracing the cringy enthusiasm of your middle school years with play examples that unironically use the word smexy. Not only is it an unabashed celebration of both the old internet and what it was like to be a young person online, but it's also fully playable in your web browser, a feat in and of itself. What Waits Beneath by Nevin Holmes of Dinoberry Press has players dive under the ocean in search of lost treasures. You'll create a 3x5 grid of playing cards, flipping two at a time in an attempt to get matching suits, with a mismatch resulting in a failed hunt. Furthermore, the placement of various six-sided die across the grid will determine the rating of your dive, which can mean you suffer a loss, complication, or discover something incredible. It's a short, straightforward game containing dozens of thoughtful nautical prompts, as well as a gorgeous layout packed with fish illustrations which I adore. Mandrake Sanctuary by Richard Kelly and Mei Chi is inspired by Animal Crossing, as well as The Six Ways to Well-Being, a new measure of valued action that targets the frequency and motivation for six behavioral patterns that promote well-being by G. Tanali Basarkad, which is wild. <laughs> the core mechanics involve growing mandrakes, adjusting their soil mixtures to fit their preferences, and determining whether it's time to release them into the world. The game is by far the most robust text among the selection, full of full-color illustrations of cute mandrake buddies, and a comprehensive system of mandrake traits, plant types, and soils. This text alone would make the bundle worth the price of admission, and if you're interested at all in self-care and making little plant friends, I'd highly recommend it. You didn't think I'd miss an opportunity for self-promotion, did you? Wrong. I also contributed to this bundle. Forsaken is my Wretched and Alone take on the Left Behind series of Christian Apocalypse novels, and what it might be like to be a regular person trying to survive the end times. If you like the kind of writing I do in my videos, you'll like Forsaken. It's some of my best prose in addition to being a combination of a bunch of weird evangelical lore I picked up in the 6th grade. If you have Christian trauma, check it out! These are just 5 of the 150 games you can get through the Solo But Not Alone bundle this year. There's a link to the Itch.io page in the video description. If you have even the slightest interest in solo journaling games, you cannot miss out on this bundle. You'll get an avalanche of incredible games, as well as contribute to a great cause. The bundle closes at the end of March, so don't sleep on it!